Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Future Col here. Uh, I've edited the video up, ready to upload, and um, I was in two minds as to whether to upload it or not. Uh, you'll see when you watch the video. Uh, it's I don't know. Yeah, I think what I need to do when I'm doing stuff on the van is um, I don't know. Use the GoPro because it's wider and you can see more. Um, not get things wrong, as you'll eventually see in the uh, Go and Coming video. It's there now for your viewing pleasure. Um, but next week's video is going to be epic and I can't wait for you to see that one. Okay guys, take care, enjoy the video, see you bye. No good, I'm gonna have to do some van stuff. Right, it's no use. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something with the van. It's, it was supposed to be my chill day, my relaxed day, my do nothing day. And because I've got nothing to do, I thought to myself, do you know what, let's just work on van. Um, I'm not very good at doing nothing. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are out there like that, but this is my day off and yeah. I've got some bits that need sorting out in the van. Now, one of them that I'm gonna do, it might go wrong, not sure yet, I need to go to the shop and get a little bits of hardware and some stuff. But one thing that I'm gonna do is thanks to a YouTube channel called Casper Van Life. Lovely, lovely bloke, does lots of things to his van and I can't take the uh, credit for this little thing that I'm gonna do in the van today. So stay tuned for the bits that I'm gonna do on the van. Right, shop. <laughs> I need a wee. <laughs> One of the beauties about owning a van uh, with a toilet in it is that, uh, I mean, I, would, I were busting <laughs> and having a toilet in my van is just, oh, I feel so much better now. I'd have driven home like Dukes of Hazard if, uh, <laughs> if I'd have needed that way. I was literally that close um, to exploding. <laughs> right, so I've got um, like a mirror clock. I've wanted a mirror in the van for a while. Um, just cause quiff and stuff and uh, but also a clock uh, and it's like a digital clock I'll put a link into the description below um, the chap at Casper Van Life um, actually uh, recommended this uh, particular clock now what I'm wanting to do is have this clock in the nonsensical compartment just above my head here um, and this is the little trim that's uh, on it now on Casper Van Life he made like a like a door and carpeted it and stuff and, and had this sort of wedged and glued in, which is totally fine, you know? Uh, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for uh, an install that I think uh, is gonna look more aesthetically pleasing for me. I'm not saying it's better than what he did by any stretch of imagination. He did a really great job and his looks great. Um, but I'm thinking of hinging it uh, freestanding like that. Um, and now because I've hinged it, we can still get into the compartment. So part of me, was going to do exactly what uh, the chaps at Casper Van Life did. But I'm thinking now, having just held it up to it to see whether it fit properly and things like that, I'm thinking now, actually, I might. I might just do that. So it's either going to go one or two ways. It's either going to go brilliantly because I'm going to just randomly screw two short screws into here to get the uh, um, hinges on and it could just completely destroy it. It was cheap. Um, 
or it could go spectacularly well and I could get this hinged onto here and we could all be a winner baby, that's the truth. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Let's give it a go. <laughs> right, let's get some batteries in this bad boy. Triple A, not double A, for God's sake. <sighs> I take two, triple A's. <laughs> so, one goes in there. I've also got rechargeable triple A's, the uh, Energizer uh, recharge ones, because it takes three. Ah! <sighs> Found some uh, remote control batteries. Um, for remote control, funny enough. <laughs> Oh, why are these so difficult to get into? I'm in. Right, three batteries. That's ridiculous. Right, okay, so. Oh, we have. Oh, has that got an alarm on it? That needs to go off. Off, right. So, up, up, down, down. Don't do anything. Uh, mud. No. Off. Uh, how do you set the time? Now we're now we're cooking on gas, right? Twelve forty-three. So up. So you basically hold mode uh, for a few seconds, and then it goes into the editing time thing. So now you can see the time going up like that, and it's twelve forty-three. There we go, and then I'm guessing you press mode again. There we go. The time is set. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's the truth. Uh, but what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to leave that on while I screw screws into the top of it for the um, for the hinges because uh, it, this might completely destroy it. It's gone off. Huh. So you just tap it. Nice. Uh, right, so where's my hinge? Where's my freaking hinge? There it is, look. There's the top half there. So I reckon that... Needs to go sort of flush onto there, a little bit further back, like that. Let's get uh, there's a battery compartment door cover because that will help centralise things. Right, so I'm pressing buttons now. I don't know what 101 means. I don't know what that means, but anyway, it's probably what time alarm's going to go off. Wake all my neighbours up. Right, so there is where it's going. It looks like it's on an angle, but the, the thing sits like that on the uh, when it's mounted, so it's actually not on an angle. No, I'll tell you what, I've made a marker dot now, so I don't have to hold that in. Now I've got a marker, let's get this. Uh, this is probably doing your head in. I'm not a freaking DIY expert, I'm just a guy. Oh. There'll be loads of you out there just now like going, don't do it like that, you'll drill into your knee. It's fine, it's fine. Hospital's like 20 yards away. It's all good. Right, so I don't know if you can see, this little piece now has been hinged on um, and it's screwed in, hinges are screwed in. I only wanted to put uh, one in there and one in there on the clock itself because um, you don't want to push my luck. If you do screw into your clock and it breaks, that's your own fault. <laughs> don't uh, come here for advice. So, that should now clip back up there, he says. Make sure the clips aren't bent. Ah, that Rita, that's Rita Proppers. Right, okay, so. I should just clip back in. But it's not because it's stupid. The clock is now installed. I'll show you some B-roll of that. It looks really nice. Um, it clipped back in relatively easily. Um, you know what it's like. You know you can faff around with it for about 20 minutes and then all of a sudden it'll just go click. And it's like, well, why didn't you do that in the first place? <laughs> right, so this next little bit I'm going to do is just replace the uh, little receiving kind of grommet. Um, I've just been out to the hardware store and grabbed them. Now, I, I think that... This is the best way to do it uh, for the cupboard door that I've got, but uh, there's all screws everywhere because it's kind of a really strong connection. The problem is, is I have bent this 
Uh, I think it was the first time I put the door on and it wasn't lined up properly. Um, it pushed it and pushed it into itself because I was like, it's got to go in because I thought it's pretty strong. So I might have to push it really hard, pushed it really hard and uh, bent it. So I've been sort of battling with that ever since, thinking to myself, I just need to go get a new one. Uh, so yeah, I need to get that done now. So now this little grommet here should pop into there without any problems. Nice! So as with all my purchases that I make with a van, usually I see somebody else's van and go, oh, I want that on my van, it'll look ace. Now I was on like surfing the web and just bored and I was looking at vans obviously and um, I saw a picture of a van with a, with a white sunshade uh, kind of transporter HQ sticker on the top of their van. So I went out and got one. Get that nice so basically because this is like is properly deep and massive um what i'm gonna do is and this basically goes um if you where your sun visors come down this basically replaces that um now it's it this is like it's too deep um and having held it up to the van it would mean i'd have to drive like this and nobody wants to do that and nobody wants impaired vision while they're driving because that's obviously dangerous so quite handily they send it with um, a sheet, so if you can see that, and it's got um, it's got the the cutout lines on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down, maybe take two or three squares off it uh, before I fit it to the van, uh, because yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to be driving like this all the time and stuff. But that's going to be ace. And then uh, sadly and unfortunately, I think the dubbed out sign is going to have to come off the side of the van, um, off the windscreen. Uh, but there is a replacement and uh, I will be fitting that today as well. So let's get this chopped down and um, let's see if I can bugger this up. <laughs> but I'd rather try it. I'm a man of liking to try and fail than not to try at all. Now I've got a feeling that that's not the size of the window either. So I think I might have to do some, oh, it's never just, it's never just like buy it, stick it on, is it? It's always just, oh, right. Right, let's go all the up against fans, see what's happening. Yeah, okay. Right, so because the windscreen at the top is, is obviously it's bowed like that, um, what I'm going to have to do is overlap it when I put it on, stick it down, get out the bubbles and stuff, but then run a Stanley knife across uh, to make it go into the shape of the van. I'm going to take uh, three lots, so there's like there's squares all the way along here, I'm going to take three lots of squares off um, before I stick it on. So let's go do that. That was satisfying, yes! You see that way, the, the blades were like oh, I've got like now we're a perfectly straight white strip. That could be the one that goes on the van <laughs> when I'm bugger that one up. Right, so let's get that on. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean the van windows uh, to make sure all the muck and rubbish is off it. But then I'm also uh, gonna use this. It's just like soapy mixture of water uh, to put on so then it's not stuck and then stuck on. Does that make sense? So I can move it around and then push out the bubbles. Um, I learned that when I did my, uh, when I wrapped the rear lights. I didn't film that, but uh, yeah, when I wrapped the rear lights, getting them absolutely soaking wet and then pushing the bubbles out meant that it stuck to it a lot better and a lot easier. Um, so yeah, let's go do that.
Now, I know there's probably thousands of you now, like shouting at your screen, you did that wrong. I, I'm fully aware. <laughs> oh, I think mistake number one was uh, it's windy. Um, mistake number two was adding too much water. And mistake number three was assuming that it was going to come pre-cut to the correct shape of the windscreen. I mean, I went into the section that says T6 and went into the accessories section and got that. So I just assumed it was just peel off, stick on, done. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. But no, don't blame Transporter HQ. It's not their fault. It's my ineptness um, <laughs> to be able to do anything like that. Um, it took me, this is why I didn't film doing the uh, wrapping of the rear lights because there was lots of swearing involved. There was lots of, uh, I mean, I used probably two lots and there's enough to probably cover six lights in each. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was gonna look good. As I put it on the van, it's a slightly different white to the van. Um, it's like a whiter white, if that makes sense. I think it's candy, this candy white is the van. And it's more of a, I don't know, an Arctic white, is that so? So I'm just trying to convince myself that what I did was right. <laughs> it was done badly. It was fitted badly. I have no excuses. Um, and I'm just going to move on to the next thing. At least I've done two things already that have been good and they've worked. You know, the clip for the door at the kick plate and the, and the clock. That looks ace. I'm really happy with that. All that's ace. Um, what else have I got on my list? I made a list of things to do. Ah, yes. Do you know what else, do you know what else I need to do? I need to turn the bottle opener that I've got on the wall in the van the right way up. Let's go do that. Right, so I've got my drill ready to go to turn this bad boy the right way around. I got my drill ready to turn it the other way around and I thought, well, it says Volkswagen the correct way up and the VW badge is the correct way up. <laughs> it's not upside down, is it? It's not upside down. Basically what I were doing with my bottle is I was trying to, I was like, how do you, how do you do that? Thinking that you went that way. You don't. <laughs> you go that way, you put it in there, and then the lid comes off. Honestly, honestly, genuinely, today's not going well. <laughs> Sometimes you've just got to cut your losses, haven't you? And you've just got to be like, well, the easiest thing to do would have been just, let's not film a video this week, and let's not upload. Because we've got some great videos coming up. And I thought, it's, no, it's fine, you know, it's all right, I'll do one, I'll do one. And then this. Oh, there's only one thing gone wrong. Two things, that. Right, so a lot of you guys have been asking um, what I can fit into the backpack that I used in the last video, um, the Flipside 350. And I'm doing that because you kind of, you take it off your shoulders and it flips around, it's like a table in front of you and you can get all to your gear and stuff like that. Um, go check that video out, it's pretty early on in the video that I show it. Uh, and some of you guys have been asking, what sort of stuff do I fit in that bag? Uh, so we'll go up to the office, I'll show you uh, the things that I do fit in that bag, and uh, and then you guys know what you can fit in there as well. Um, I'll be honest with you, the 350 is probably just that little bit too small. Um, I think the 450 for me, with like camera and drone and sandwiches and spare jackets and coats and all that, uh, I think would have been better. Uh, so if you're going to be carrying a lot or more than I'm going to show you, then yeah, go for the 450, I think, because that's uh, it's a bigger bag. Uh, again, none of this is sponsored. It's just me just handing out bit, bits of information and advice. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not sponsored. And the, don't follow the advice of how to uh, install a Transporter HQ uh, blind thing. Because, uh, yeah, sticker, because that's not going to end well. <laughs> oh, yes. Important news. Right, you guys, a lot of you guys will know I am going to Camper Jam this year. Uh, they are the tickets that were rolled over from last year to this year. Uh, ended up going to Camper Site last year. 
So yeah, hopefully I'll see some of you guys at Camper Jam this year. Looking forward to meeting up with you. Uh, but also, the tickets have gone on sale for uh, the Dubbed Out Festival, the first ever Dubbed Out Festival that's ever happened. Um, so yeah, go uh, to dubbedout.com or dubbedout.co.uk. I'll find a link, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, and go uh, purchase yourself a ticket uh, to come down to the festival. It's um, I, I don't know what it's going to be like. I've never been to a Dubbed Out Festival before. I mean, we've done meetups and we've done like weekends and things, but this is like full festival. Bands, music, rides food, beer, you know, the, the work. So, uh, so yeah, get yourself a ticket, come down, come and meet some of the guys from Dubbed Out. Uh, you can obviously meet my good self um, and various other things that are going on. Um, so, yeah, that's ace. That's all happening and stuff. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys upstairs, not like that, uh, and we'll have a look in the bag that I've got and uh, you can see exactly how much stuff I can fit in there or, or what I take with me when I go walking anyway. Um, right, okay, let's go do that and let me stop waffling. Okay, see you bye. Right, surely this segment can't go wrong. There can't be anything goes wrong here. <laughs> so this is the backpack that I were carrying in the other video. Now it's a large backpack, it's great, um, and I do carry a lot of stuff in it. It's not a review of the backpack, I'm just showing you guys the stuff that I carry in this bag when I go out walking and stuff. Um, so in this pocket here, it's kind of like, segments that you can you can tear these out and put them in different places and stuff like that um and in this section i've got my dslr camera which is a sony a7 III uh it's got the battery grip on it and i can leave the lens on it and that just slots in there quite nicely um i can use different lenses so this is the 17 i've got 28 um various other uh, few lenses that i take with me um i've got a charger for the ZV-1, which is what I'm filming on now. I've got um, three batteries for the DJI Osmo Action. Uh, I also just store in here, when I walk, I don't actually take this with me, but it stores in here because everything's in the same place. Uh, the charger for the drone, um, the um, thingy for the drone, the controller for the drone, that goes in there. Uh, and then also uh, just in like the side pocket there, I've got the, what is like basically the Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures uh, hard drive uh, because sometimes when I'm on a wild camp I'll take my laptop and I'll take my hard drive and I can do um, I can edit videos uh, as I'm going uh, if I'm going on big walks and stuff like that I don't generally take my laptop because I don't want to leave it in the van uh, I've also got a, a light in there for videoing various leads and wires and stuff like that uh, I put there's like a compartment here that you can put to spare SD cards in so I put SD cards in there but I also put the batteries for the ZV-1 because they're very very small batteries so they can fit in there and once they're charged up they're ready to go uh, and look nice and flashy eyes. Um, in these little side pockets here um, I generally put like little snacks that I want to get to so little bars and things like that there's one in each side um, and they are just on your side there because obviously it wraps around there which is ace um, what have I got going on in the front I don't really put much in this bit um, the maps if I take one in fact yeah there's just there's a survival blanket in there and a and a lens cap uh, and that's pretty much it and I think a couple of oh yeah some spare blades for the drone uh, because as you all know I will crash it and I'll need those now in the top compartment this is kind of like the useful bit for me uh, some more snacks that's from the last walk I went on uh, the drone itself uh, there's a drone charger lead uh, and I also get the I've got like a first aid kit that I take with me when I go walking uh, also in there um, there's enough room in that top half there to stash my rain jacket and some sandwiches uh, which is ace and I do that and then also I um, I mean my gloves are just in that side pocket there but I put a drink in that side pocket and I put another drink in the other side pocket there um, now when I go on my walk this weekend I'm going to be taking a different bag I'll show you that. Ah. <laughs> I love this wheelie chair. Uh, so this is um, this is basically when I go walking a long distance, and it's the AC Mistral 30 uh, backpack, and it's kind of it's got it's it's got like aluminium bar there that keeps it more rigid, and there's a big space in the back so your back doesn't get sweaty and stuff like that. Um, and it basically is just it's just a big stuff sack. Um, so what I'll put in there at the bottom, I mean there's, there's just way more room in this than there is in the other bag and I'll put in like spare jumpers and coats and then um, my sandwiches, water, um, all that other stuff. Now this is a walk that I'm probably not going to get a chance to do much photography 
so I don't think I'm going to take my camera. I'll take, uh, in fact, no, I'm probably going to take uh, on this next walk the uh, DJI Osmo Action because it's a lot more compact. Uh, the lads aren't going to be that uh, keen on stopping all the time for me to do B-roll and things like that. So I'll be walking B-roll. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah, I'll be taking that on the trip. Uh, and that will get that will just go out of the way if it starts raining. It'll be absolutely fine. Um, and then there's a there's a top part here that usually I put like snacks that I need to get to quickly. So if I need like a bar, a bit of energy, something like that, that'll go in the top half. Uh, and then I'll put the uh, first aid kit just in this little section under here. Well, that's literally it. Um, there is a, um, like in there. I don't know if you can see it. In there, there's like another section, and that means you can put uh, one of those bladders, you know, the ones that fill with water and then the wire comes around so you can drink. And then there's like a hole, just there, a little H2O hole. And then the, the bladder comes out of that. Um, there is no pockets on the side, so I can't have snacks on the side. Um, I might still take my camera, I'm not sure. It all depends on what the weather's doing. Um, because if we get somewhere and it's just, and it looks amazing, I'll be gutted if I'm taking it on my phone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's basically what I'm taking on that right so for anybody who's never put um, washer fluid in their van i'm going to show you how to do that now hopefully that won't go wrong and hopefully i won't put washer fluid inside the uh <laughs> inside the oil thing or the radiator thing no it's pretty obvious where it is so i'm going to go do that now because that's a relatively easy job to do without having to think Right guys, thank you for watching, uh, whatever that video was. <laughs> uh, you win some, you lose some, don't you? Uh, look forward to next week's video where we go on a, an epic walk in a wild camp and uh, there's plenty more in the diary for your viewing pleasure. So take care guys and we'll see you on the next one. See you later, bye.